As the sun rises on a new realm, we find ourselves following a veteran realm player as they wander through the abandoned city. He is bound by his old habits. Upon entering a realm, he must run to the center of the map, begin killing gods, and then enter any dungeons that appear in hopes of maxing his stats and attracting a mate. Hey guys, Roast here with another Realm video. Today is the first day of a new series I'm calling Realm of the Mad God Geographic. In each video, I'll break down one of the new biomes, what it looks like, where to find it, what enemies will attack you there and you need to watch out for, and finally I'll cover what loot and dungeons you can expect to get from that biome. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and share this video to help Realm of the Mad God go viral. Today's video will be covering the abandoned city biome, which is one of the new added biomes, so strap in. Uh, for next video, I want you guys to comment below what biome I should do next, so yeah, do that. If you're a veteran realm player, you will appreciate the abandoned city, at least I do, as a very clear reminder of the old godlands. Uh, just like the old godlands, it's going to be in the very center of the map, and funnily enough, a lot of it is like a blank texture on the ground. Uh, just like you know the snow or the black mountains from the godlands <laughs> um and it also boasts a lot of familiar enemies uh including end ancient beholders flying brains jinn slime gods and medusas i think are all the pre-existing ones uh but there are also a few new enemies namely the satyr the gladiator and the puppeteer uh, and these are mostly okay but they do have some effects on their attacks to watch out for like bleeding and a slow um, but in reality, they're not that much more dangerous than the rest of the gods. The dungeons drops here include Ancient Ruins, Snake Pick, Toxic Sewers, Manor of the Immortals, Cave of a Thousand Treasures, Magic Woods, Puppet Master Theater, and the Mad Lab. Um, given the wide array of enemies and the wide array of dungeons, uh, there are a lot of different stat plots you can farm, but the one that kind of has the most drop locations here is arguably the defense pot. Um, and like I was saying, while the abandoned city is a bit more beginner friendly, it's going to come at the cost of not dropping as many pots. So, uh, I think the drop rate is just a little lower than some of the more difficult biomes and the abandoned city is less focused on specific stat pots and gives you more of a wide array for example if you go to risen hell i think there's like literally eight or nine attack pot sources if you go to the runic tundra there's eight or nine mana pot sources but the highest thing here is i think there are four defense pot sources which is okay but like meh so if you're looking for other stat pots or you want to do a higher difficulty place there are definitely a lot of places for that um, the other big notable loot here is the Biome UT, that is the Cavalry Lance. It gives knights a short dash, kind of like what the Kensei has, um, but I'm not sure if it's enabled right now because of a few reasons. The first one was that there were bugs early in testing. The second one is that it looked really, really strong, like, like it just gave you too much. It, like, it was just too good of an item, basically. And the third thing is, I don't know if it's dropping yet, because I've not seen it personally, and I've not heard of anybody finding it, and I know they're very rare, because a rough rate I've heard on the new biome UTs is between 1 in every 10 to 25,000. And assuming you're clearing mobs and it takes you 15 minutes, 15 seconds to kill a single god in the godlands, or the uh, abandoned city, that's 6,500. It's going to be 27 hours so farming for 10 to 20,000 is going to be literally two to four days of real lifetime spent non-stop killing abandoned city mobs so yeah i don't know about the drop rates i wouldn't go looking for the cavalry lance yet until we get like official official word from deca that it is back and good to go um but now that you have the loot covered the abandoned city has introduced a few new bosses as well uh, there's the new Sword in the Stone boss that drops attack pots, there's an Insurgent Commander that drops defense pots, and there's Buried Treasure guarded by a Dragon that, as far as I know, doesn't drop pots, but maybe drops some other goodies that we just haven't seen yet. Who knows? Um, the Sword in the Stone is relatively simple and just does some radial shots um, that aren't too difficult to avoid. The Buried Treasure itself... The Treasure box is easy to deal with because it just shoots, again, simple radial shots. But if you are solo, the dragon that flies around can make reaching the treasure a bit difficult, especially once I think the treasure of the dragon hit 20% and they enrage and just start shooting a lot more shots. Um, but at that point, 
the dragon will be chasing someone. So if you're two people and you can just go from other sides, you'll be able to clear it really easy. Um, and lastly, the insurgent commander is going to be found in a small room surrounded by minions. Uh, the minions are really annoying because it's kind of, you just can't like run past them. They shoot, they have really high shot density. Uh, but once they are dealt with, he's pretty easy to take down and wand classes can literally just sit still in the doorway and blast him from far away. Um, none of these are too difficult, but definitely played a bit safe the first time or two you encounter them just to avoid skill issuing. Um, that's all I've got for you guys today on the new Abandoned City biome. I really appreciate you watching, and I hope you subscribe. Let me know what biome I should do next in the comments below, and I'll try and get that video out within a week. Eh. Thanks again to all my subs and patrons. Consider joining them to really help the channel. But until next time, keep it beefy, boys. Hello there.